Welcome back to Mason Capital. Today, we're going to be showing you how you can purchase as well as connect to the GMX protocol. So the first step in order to connect to the GMX protocol is by creating a wallet. Now, the best option right now is to create a wallet with MetaMask. If you are not familiar with MetaMask, it's basically a Ethereum wallet that you can store any of your digital assets specifically today gmx so the first thing we need to do is download it so you'll go ahead download the metamask save your private key do not save it on your desktop and then once you have that set up we're going to go ahead and start connecting to the gmx protocol so by now i assume that your wallet is set up if you have not set up your wallet i've actually created a link down below and it'll link you to my blog post about how to connect to Arbitrum as well as create a wallet. So now once we're at gmx.io, which is the main website, the first thing we want to do is go and click connect wallet. Now remember, you have a MetaMask wallet that you just created or if you have any of these other options, you can use that as well. Now, I just created a dummy account, so you'll see that I have zero Ethereum in the, in the wallet right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue. Now you can see the wallet is connected. However, we're not on the right network. Right now, it assumes that we're on the main Ethereum blockchain, which is not where we want to be. We want to be on the Arbitrum blockchain. So we're gonna go ahead and click on connect again. But this time we're gonna click switch to Arbitrum. And you'll see that it automatically adds Arbitrum to your wallet. So you don't ever have to go through the process of setting it up. So just click approve and click switch network. So now you'll see again, it's gonna be connecting your wallet to the website. You'll just click next, or sorry, this was connected to Uniswap. But anyways, right now we have our wallet connected to gmx.io as well as we have our wallet on the Arbitrum network. Now, as you can see, I am in my MetaMask wallet right now, and we have Arbitrum selected. Now, if you ever want to go back to Ethereum mainnet, you could do that very simply by clicking on the Ethereum mainnet. However, you will be disconnected from the GMX website. And the reason for that is GMX is only on Arbitrum and Avalanche. So now we're going to go back to Arbitrum. Okay. So we've basically just gone ahead and created a wallet as well as connected it to the Arbitrum network. And now we have our wallet connected to the GMX protocol. Now, like I said before, we'll also be covering how you can purchase the GMX token. So now we're going to do that. So I'm assuming you're still on the GMX website. And so we're gonna go ahead and click buy. So now we will be covering how you can purchase GMX. Now for GMX, you have the option of purchasing the GLP token, which is a liquidity provider token, or you could purchase the main token, which is GMX, which is a government token that accrues fees. Now. If you were to buy any of these tokens, you have the option to buy it on Arbitrum or Avalanche, whatever you prefer. However, for this example, we're gonna be only buying it on Arbitrum. So now when you click buy, you will be immediately put into a different screen and this will allow you to purchase GMX directly from a exchange. Let's just go through and purchase GMX through an decentralized exchange like Uniswap. 
So now you can see we're on Uniswap now and we have the token immediately imported by the protocol. So now what we want to do is click import. So obviously I'm using a dummy wallet and I'd assume that you have Ethereum funds in your wallet. So let's say we'll put in 0.1 Ethereum. So the current price is about $20.32. So if we put in about 178, we would get about 8.73 GMX. Now, once you complete this transaction, you would be able to stake this. So currently, obviously we don't have any Ethereum in this wallet because it is a dummy wallet. But if you were to go back to GMX and you wanted to stake that, it would just show up in your wallet and all you would have to do is click stake. Now, the transaction fees on Arbitrum, which is where all of the transactions are taking place, is very cheap. It's about, I would say, 50 cents to do like many transactions. But if you're doing a simple transfer, it should be about 20 cents. So let's take, for example, the GMX that you just purchased and you have it staked. It would be earning you about 24.77%. Now, you would get 16.27% in escrow GMX, but you would also receive 8.5% interest on your GMX paid in Ethereum. Now, all of these rewards change every week because depending on how much revenue and fees they earn. So... Currently for this week, it's about 8.5% for Ethereum, but it generally ranges between, I would say, 5 and sometimes 20%. It really depends on how much they earn off the fees. So this was just a basic video about how you could connect as well as purchase GMX. Now, if you have not funded your wallet, one of the best exchanges I recommend is ftx.us now i will also have a link down below in the description but the reason why i prefer ftx is because they allow arbitrum withdrawals if you are on coinbase you cannot withdraw to arbitrum meaning you would have to send your ethereum that you purchased on coinbase to another wallet and then you would have to move that into another blockchain so why do you want to put yourself through that hassle when you could just go ahead create an account with ftx and then once you purchase your ethereum you just withdraw it directly from ftx to arbitrum to the wallet that you have and you would be able to go ahead and directly purchase GMX and then go ahead and stake that. So I would say that is my number one recommendation for uh, for funding your wallet. Now, if you were to, let's say, if you wanted to connect with Avalanche, which is another blockchain that GMX supports, it would be the same exact thing. We would go to the top, change the wallet from Arbitrum to Avalanche, and it would automatically add the network to your wallet. So we'll just go ahead and click approve. So once you approve it, it will switch the network. So now you can see we're connected to the Avalanche blockchain. And now you have Arbitrum and Avalanche in your wallet as another network you can choose without having to go through and add that information manually. So that's very, very helpful. So I hope this video helped you guys out because if you're a new user, it's very helpful to learn how to connect because many people have a problem connecting to protocols because of, let's say, they haven't transferred 
uh, their Ethereum to another blockchain like Arbitrum. So here's also one tip is when you are connecting your wallet to the GMX protocol, remember that your address for the Ethereum blockchain is the same as your Avalanche and Arbitrum wallet. So if you send your money from Coinbase into your wallet and it's on Ethereum, you would receive it in your Ethereum wallet. But if you were on FTX and you withdrew your Ethereum that you purchased to your Arbitrum wallet, it would be the same address. So just make sure you have your withdrawal for the blockchain correct because you do not want to make the mistake of moving your Ethereum to different blockchains and then having to move it back. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please like and subscribe down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to learn more about GMX and the GMX protocol, I actually made a video which you could check out right here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.